At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Hope everybody had a great night rest and are ready to go this morning. This is March 4th, 2022. It is my granddaughter's birthday. She turns seven years old today, so she is very happy about that. Our lesson today about spiritual gifts will be looking at the gift of repentance. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 24 through 26, Paul says, And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient, in humility correcting those who are in opposition, and if God perhaps will grant them repentance, so that they may know the truth, and that they may come to their senses and escape the snare of the devil, having been taken captive by him to do his will. The servant of the Lord mentioned here is the doulos. If you don't remember what type of servant doulos is, refer back to the video I did on February 1st called serving the Lord. Here, Paul is telling Timothy to instruct those who oppose themselves. How can people oppose themselves? T.D. Jakes said one time that the biggest enemy that I have is in a me. Other people have said the biggest battleground that we have is between our ears. Our flesh wrestles against the spirit. The flesh wants to do what it wants to do. Paul says in Galatians chapter 5 verse 17, this is from the New, New American Standard Bible, for the, fle uh, excuse me, for the desire of the flesh is against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh for these are in opposition to one another in order to keep you from doing whatever you want. Paul says that in back in 2 Timothy that if we acknowledge the truth, God will give us repentance. Then we will follow the Spirit and not follow our flesh. The Greek word translated repentance is the word Metanoia. No, I didn't say paranoia. Paranoia means beyond the mind or irregular mind. Metanoia means to have a change of mind. In other words, you change your way of thinking. For example, you may think that you can save yourself, but you repent when you realize that Jesus is the only one who can save you. You receive the gift of repentance. In Acts 11, starting in verse 15, Peter is telling about the Gentiles who received the Holy Spirit. He says, And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as upon us in the beginning. Then I remembered the word of the Lord, how he said, John indeed baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If therefore God gave them the same gift as he gave us when we believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could withstand God? When they heard these things, they became silent, and they glorified God, saying, Then God has granted to the Gentiles repentance to life. God granted that repentance, that metanoia, or the change of mind 
to the Gentiles. Acts chapter 5 verses 29 through 31 says, But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you were murdered by hanging on a tree. Him God has exalted to his right hand to be prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. You see, God has given repentance to the Gentiles as well as the Jews. So if the Gentiles and the Jews can have repentance, that means everyone can have it. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us. Amen. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Paul says in Romans 2, 4, Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? God's goodness is what leads us to repentance. So what does repentance lead to? Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10, for godly sorrow produces repentance leading to salvation. Not to be regretted, but the sorrow of the world produces death. You see, the repentance or the changing of our mind is what leads us to salvation. We realize that we can't save ourselves. We need Jesus as our Savior. If Jesus is not your Savior, you can take care of that today. It's as easy as ABC. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. B. Believe that He has forgiven you. C. Commit your life to serving Him. That wraps it up for today. Tomorrow we will look at the gift of Himself. Be sure to click the red subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these lessons. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you for new mercies because your word says your mercies are new every morning. So we thank you for those new mercies this morning. And Father God, we thank you for the gift of repentance. We thank you that we can change our mind. We may have been on a road leading to disaster, but Father God, we repented, we changed our mind, and we decided that we wanted to be on the road that you have for us, the straight and narrow road that leads to you. And Father God, we're so thankful Lord God, that we can have healing in our bodies. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the God who heals us, Lord God. We thank you for your healing virtue. We pray for our friends and for our family members who are sick, Lord God. We thank you that they can have healing in their bodies. Lord God, we thank you that you are continuing to work in my daddy's body, Lord God, that you are healing him, Lord God, as he returned home yesterday, and Father God, that he would seek you, he would seek to serve you in all that he does. And Father God, we pray that for all of us, Lord God, that we would get on the path that you have ordained for us, and we would do your will, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great day today.